How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be talking about 10 things that you may have not known about the app called Shipt. Shipt is a very similar app to Instacart. It's probably their biggest competitor, but Shipt is a lot different and in some markets could even be better. Personally, the most I've ever made on Shipt was $260, just to show you that there is some potential. So let's talk about the 10 things I wish I knew before I became a Shipt shopper. All right, so number one, a bunch of orders appear on the hour. So for example, as soon as it hits 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., there is a big drop where you can see a bunch of different counties and you can see the orders for all of them. This is usually when you might see three or four different orders pop up for your metro. So if you guys are struggling to find orders, this is a great way to do so. Just set an alarm like one minute before the drop happens so that you actually remember. This is how I take most of my orders. Even if I'm already shopping another order, I will go back and refresh and see if I could take another order for the next hour. All right, so number two, after you guys complete 10 orders on the app, you guys will no longer be considered a rookie in ship size and they will allow you to do more than one order at a time. So if you guys didn't know, you guys can take two orders at once and shop them in the same hour, even if they're different stores and it makes sense. But what I do is I try to get two orders for one store and do them both at the same time. But if you guys are just starting out, you've only done two orders, it is not an option quite yet. That's how you guys make the big money, by the way. All right, number three, there is rating forgiveness with this app, which is very nice. Especially with all the low stock lately, this is extremely important, but you guys need to make sure that you guys remember your order IDs. So if you guys are shopping for someone and you do a ton of refunds and you see that they seem a little salty over text, maybe throw their order ID in your phone so that you can keep it. And if you receive a bad order, that is probably gonna be your best bet. Just send it over to Shipt, explain that it was out of your control and they might forgive it because ratings are extremely important on this app. All right, so number four, do not over schedule yourself. This was a mistake I made when I first started. For a while, I was getting these promos where if I completed eight orders, I would make like an additional 60 to $80. And I was scheduling orders every single hour, even if they were massive orders. So what happened, one order was a disaster. I had to do a ton of replacements. There's no cell service. So I got behind and I had all these other orders scheduled out for the day. And this became a problem because I was almost late for one of my orders and it just kept getting worse and worse. So finally, I just had to drop one of my orders so that I could catch up and not be stressed out all day. And not to mention, if you guys are late while you guys are doing a bonus, then it's probably not gonna count towards your bonus. All right, number five, speaking of bonuses, Shipt frequently gives these out on weekends where they will give you an additional $35 for say completing six orders. Or I've even seen some where if you completed eight orders, you'd get like $60 on top. These are great, but when you guys are doing these bonuses, you need to make sure there's no promo on the order. If it has that little bar that says promo when you take the order, it'll not count towards your six orders to get that money. And I also see more bonuses around the weekend, which is when the app is probably more popular. All right, number six, make sure you guys are looking for those big orders. The prepaid target orders are super easy, but they usually don't have the best tips. So I look for orders at my HEB, which is my local grocery store, and I look for things with over like 20 items because those seem to pay a lot more. All right, and number seven, tips take forever to come in. It is just part of the app. If they pre-tip, you should see the tip within two hours of completing the delivery, but a lot of people don't do that. They just tip whenever they place their next order. So as you guys could imagine, it could be literally weeks from when you actually did the order that you receive that tip. This can be very confusing when you're trying to meet a minimum for the day, which is why for shipped, I don't go for a dollar amount, I go for an order amount. All right, and number eight, let's talk about preferred members. These are super important to get because if you guys could get just a few very generous customers, this could be an easy way to guarantee you getting those tips in after you complete an order. You'll get less no tippers, and you'll get a deal with people that just seem to appreciate you a little bit more than just the everyday person. And I only say that because there's just a little bit more trust between the shopper and the customer when you guys have frequently worked together before. So there's no rocket science to getting preferred members. All you guys have to do is complete a lot of orders. Look for those big orders and then just do a really good job. Make sure you guys communicate with the customer very well. And I promise you, if you guys do that, you will eventually get some preferred members and start making a little extra money from those people. All right, so number nine, there is no auto refresh. If you guys use the Instacart app, you guys could kind of just leave it on in front of you and see orders pop up. With Shipt, I've not noticed that. You guys either have to scroll down and refresh it or hit the refresh in the top right. 
to actually see orders coming in. So when the drop happens, spam the refresh so that you guys can actually see the orders come in. The only bummer is if you guys use the top right and you guys get a notification, it's gonna pull you out of the app to the notification. It drives me crazy, so sometimes I just scroll. And lastly, for number 10, if you guys take an order and you guys are ready to shop it, but it doesn't say early's okay, you guys can actually text or call your customer and ask them yourself, because sometimes this is just an old selection, so they actually might be okay if you drop it off early, but that's why I would just go ahead and text them because you might be able to get the order done a little sooner and then get started on another one even quicker. So those are 10 things I wish I knew about Shipt before I started it. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys slap that like button and consider subscribing for more gig work content like this. Also check the pinned comment for a way that you might be able to earn $10 for free and I'll see you guys on the next video.